Hey everybody, the Crystal Penguin here, and welcome to episode 12 of Golden Sun and the Lost Age. In the last episode, we got here to that, no, Afar? Let's see, let's, I can't remember the name, let's go see it. Yeah, it's Afar. It's very far, Afar away from where our journey started, but in this episode, let's... Synergy is where I originally wanted to go, except Mind Read. And let's talk to this guy, or mind read this guy. Oh, this ain't good. The guy look, that guy looks like the mayor of Madra. He must have come here looking for Briggs. Well, I'd better go tell the others. Hey, what's your problem? What, are you some kind of freak? Well, don't call me a freak. Wow, you dick. Well, what, you got a problem with me? Yeah, you just call me a freak. Of course I have a problem with you. Uh, who cares what you think? I've got stuff to do. Scram, little kid. Um, I'm not a little kid. I'm actually a synergy using awesome kit person who can beat the crap out of you and you die in like two hits or whatever. Yeah, that's me. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was going to tell them that the mayor of Madra. Well, I'll just follow you into this place, I guess. Nope, this is just not, not where you went. Everything is so boring here. Wasn't there anybody committed any crimes? Sir, I'm pretty sure you're happier without people committing crimes. You know, it's just, that's what I think, in my personal opinion. I'm gonna go to the, um, inn and heal up, and go on in to heal up, haha. <laughs> Sleep the night away or whatever. Welcome to our 21 coins. Yes, it's worth it. Pretty sure the price goes up like every time you level up and stuff like that because you have more health, so that makes sense, I guess. The town outrage. The town ought to give. The, 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 the town ought to give money to all the people who suffered from the tidal wave. That way, maybe the innkeeper could afford to make us better food. You see how full the inn is here? I think we'd. I think we'd be. be making money hand over fist. Well, that's not true, we just don't have the heart to charge the people who lost their homes. We're all guests at the same inn, so why is my meal so awful? It's very least they should let us go back to our sec- for the seconds of this sh stinking slop. Oh, I'm so hungry, my tummy hurts. What- when's dinner time? I don't think I've ever had a bite of meat or fish ever since the setting foot in this inn. I mean, you're not really paying customers, so it makes sense why they t couldn't afford to give you good food. The innkeeper told me to use only the cheapest ingredients to help save money. That makes sense. The innkeeper serves his paying guests better meals than the Afarians get. That's so cheap, I want gourmet meals too. Dude, you're not even paying. If, you, if you're paying, that makes sense, but you're not a paying guest, you're just visiting. I can't believe the innkeeper is renting out more rooms. We're already busy at this something like that. Check the wind box, didn't find anything. Check the jar, but didn't find anything. There's water in there. What are you talking about? You did find stuff. What are you got to take? I heard there was only one person staying in the room next door. That just... Can't they just move w one more person into that room like me? No, shut up, old man. We all have to bear the discomfort of this place until our homes are repaired. Yeah. Oh, hello, Alex. So you finally come. I suspected we might run into each other again since we both are looking for boats. Unfortunately, the only boat in this town possessed has already been sold. I will be returning here. I'll be resting here in a bar a bit longer. I have traveled long and hard, and I'm very weary. Perhaps we can get along at least until we both depart. What's mind read? I really do wish you would quit using your mind read on me. Trust me, my thoughts will become all too clear in due time. The broken mast on the ship they sold won't be easy to fix. That is, as long as we adepts don't do anything about it. Well, why don't you get off your lazy ass and actually freaking do something about it, Alex? Ooh, an apple. What's an apple do? It's, I think it's another stat boosting item. Yep. Oh, you really want to get that then? Boost attack. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that is. I think Shiba overall has slower attack usually, so I'm just gonna give it to her. Now let's see what's up here. 
Oh, God. Wow, Alex is a dick, renting, only taking one person per room in this room is freaking full. My pop's been looking around, and he says the mayor keeps treasure underground. He says the south of the place, but there's all I know. Why do we all have to be cooped up in such a small room? How am I supposed to sleep with Grandpa grinding his teeth all night? I'll never forgive the mayor for fa failing to come to our aid when we're all suffering. I wonder what I can do to make him suffer. Our guests are very upset with the mayor. I just hope they don't do anything rash. Yeah, like help Briggs, the pirate guy who came in and destroyed or and stole from us. And no, that's not the way out of this place. Well, I feel sorry for all those people being trapped in the inn and not really having anywhere to sleep. But, like, you honestly don't need a roof. Just sleep under the stars. This is such a pretty place. Why would you not want to? Let's see any artifacts. Oh, they don't have any artifacts? What the fuck? Yeah, most of these weapons are kind of crap. Not worth your time. Uh, do you have any artifacts? Nope, the armored guy doesn't have any artifacts. Let's see. Ooh. Goods can't carry anything. Well, let's sell some stuff. I'm just gonna cut back. Okay, I'm back. We just... I just got armor for everyone that it increased everyone's defense the most. Nothing really too exciting. So I just so I was like, cut it out. Our port was ruined by the tidal waves, so kids aren't allowed there anymore. But I want to just to see what kind of wind is blowing off the sea. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll talk to these guys later. Let's just head out, see what this ship is like. Yo, know, is there anything in a jar? You couldn't find anything. Come on, there has to be something in one of these jars. There's gotta be. Oh yeah, we got a smoke bomb. I thought it was gonna be something cool. Check the freaking jar, Felix. Nothing. Okay. It's no use. The mass just won't budge, no matter how many people get on to help. We're gonna have to get all this junk off the mass first. If we could just get some someone to decent footing, we could have this thing cleared. There's more to it than that, though. We still have to do something about that rope over there. Untangling that will be a piece of cake. Once we get the boat, we can use it. Oh yeah, a piece of cake except for the huge rock over there. Oh yeah, that rock. How are we supposed to get the mast out from under this thing? It's huge! There's no way we're gonna move it by ourselves. Well, either way, we can't do anything until Zack finishes the canoe. Well, they're kinda screwed. Let's go see who's inside. And who bought this boat. You know, it's kind of a mysterious thing. Oh! The mayor of Madra. Here. Are you certain? How did you know? How did he know we'd come to a far? I mean, it's the only goddamn place he'd go. He, he knew we needed a ship, and he knew we w went east. It seems pretty easy to me. Er, well, yeah. When you put it that way, it does make sense. He was looking to find the mayor of far. He must be hoping the mayor will tell him where we are. You'll probably tell the Farians we're pirates too, huh? Pirates? That seems so little unfair. What do you mean? We are pirates, aren't we? I mean, we've taken all sorts of stuff that doesn't belong to us. That's only because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We don't have any choice. Ah. Uh, and even then, it's never a lot. What? Well, 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 it's not. The stuff we take, you moron. We never take too much from anyone in town. Yeah, I guess not. And why do you think that is? Hmm, uh, why? Because you can never tell how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? Y hey, yeah, which is why we don't steal anything from afar. Right, that's, that's why we avoid the risky towns. And just take what we need from others. See, that's why you're Captain Briggs. You got the brains coming out of your ears. 
Hmm, there's nothing brainy about that. Shut up, Jenna. Did you hear that? Sounded like a girl. Who's over there? Oh, shit. Well, we've got kinda... What do you think you're doing? Don't you know that someone has been falsely impersonating you? In prison for your crimes? Er, what's your point? You have to come with us and assess to that man's innocence. And why would I want to do something like that? Oh ho, I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but you leave me with no choice. We'll bring you into against your will if we must be there way. You're coming with us. Isn't that right, Felix? Fuck yeah, we're gonna kick the shit out of him. Good for you, let's teach these guys a lesson. Don't you stand you don't stand a chance. We're hard and criminal types. We eat punks like you for breakfast. Watch yourself, you self-righteous little brats. You're the ones with the lesson to learn. And we are fighting Briggs, the pirate captain thingy my bobber. Nah, let's just use Jin. Let's just Yeah, excuse me. I'm gonna I think that guy, the sea fighter, he wanna target first because he um heals Briggs. So you definitely don't want some asshole healing Briggs every other turn, and they also use cheap-ass stuff like smoke bombs. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, gotta do- or we just- we're just dicks. Might as well just use Brad's son, Shiba, I've known really to heal- that needs healing, but, you know, whatever. Just wanna summon our shit. And the little dickhead is dead. Yay, I like it when he dies. You just fume and Atlanta. Oh, he brought another person, you stupid coward. I hope I can kill you. Ramses, come on, Ramses. Nope. Wow, these guys are powerful. Fuck. Let's just do that and with you that. Oh my god, he brought another guy. I hope I get a shit ton of experience for this. God, you're such a pain in the ass. Well, at least that guy died. Yay, iron, you can. No, you goddammit, Briggs. You fucking dickhead. Why are you such a dick, Briggs? Like, seriously, I'm trying to kill you and your little friends, and they just. You just keep bringing more back. Uh, Echo. Let's just focus our attacks on Briggs. Uh. Beam. And. Breath. Sure. Beam. Still not dead, you piece of crap. Oh my god, this guy can take a beating. He's he has like a thir 300 million berry bounty or something like that, because he's like Pirate Captain Briggs. Never heard of him because he's not famous enough to be heard of in the East Blue. I don't know. Is he dead? Well, at least that dickwad's dead. Is Briggs dead? No, oh my god. Echo cut, that's cool. Ramsey's kill him, finish him off. He's still not finished off. Holy crap. Uh. Uh, why do you have to heal the other guy? Why do you have to be so nice to your friends? Oh, well, he's dead, but Briggs is still not dead! Briggs, why? Why don't you just... die? You're so mean, man. Yeah. Mm. I think Fume is more powerful than Beam. Oil drop, how dare you? That is just rude. Is he dead? He's dead! Yay! Oh 
shit, that's a lot. This is now level 12, yay! Level 12, is everyone gonna- Yep, everyone- Seer Sleep. Cool. Well, that takes care of that. I am willing to bet everyone- Bet everyone's Briggs has been harassing will be quite happy to hear. This should set everyone into in Indris at ease. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs. We we lost. Cause you suck. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just because I lost. Go on, hand me over to Madra Fair, who or whoever. Good. First off, you can tell the Madrans that the man called Paris is innocent. Fine, so what, I just have to say that Paris isn't one of my men? Yep. Right, that's right, and you can tell the Madrans that they can release their prisoner. We secured Briggs' vow, now we should take him to the Madrans. Wait! Who are you? Can't you find it in your heart to forgive Briggs and his men? And who are you? My name is Chachua. I'm Briggs' wife. So you're a pirate too? No, Chacha hasn't done a thing. Let her be. I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their piracy. You know, with illegally downloading all the stuff they should have paid for. And I know their crimes cannot be ignored. If you know all that, then how could you ask for us just to forgive them? The only reason Briggs became a pirate was to help the people of Shampa. Well, I mean, everyone has to... You know, pitching like, why aren't the Shopians like doing shit? They're probably like not doing anything because they're lazy or some shit like that. We Shopians are seafaring folks, so our livelihood depends on entirely upon the sea. So fucking fish! But recently years, the seas have changed. We can't live the life we once could. The oceans have warmed, and the fish have vanished from our waters. The soil in Shampa is rocky and barbar and barren. No crops can grow there. No crops, so you have no grains and no meat. It sounds like life in Shampa is hard. It's not hard, it's unbearable! Our, Shamp our children can't eat, our village is dying! Those men promised to return with food, enough for all of our people, but they found none. So, be so you became pirating thieves! We don't know where Shampa is. It sits on the southwest corner of Argorina. Southwest Ar. Arjurina? Isn't that near Zane and Lemuria Temple? You have good memory, and if you were to hand, head south through the mountains, you'd find it. That's so far away. Well, yeah, you think we'd be successful pirates close to home? I mean, he has a point. The only raided towns near Shampa would be obvious to all those who attacked who were. And no one back home could forgive me if they knew, even my grandmother. But where does this leave us? Are you simply accepting your looting hard on Indra? Oh, that's it. I'm shocked, I tell you, shocked! What's so shocking? It looks like they were really pirates, just like you said. Mr. Mayor, I'm appalled that you could not take our word for it. You probably wouldn't even have believed me we were from Madra if the mayor hadn't come. Am I supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? Yep. Is that your position, Mayor? How could I be expected to believe a tidal wave wave could wash Indra to Oshina? Or that a group of men could walk on foot from Madra all the way to afar? It sounds to me like you've had forgotten about us altogether. I'm not sure you remember the last time we met, do you? We met when I was just a child. It must have been more than 10 years ago now. 20 years! It's been 20 years since I last saw you. Has it really been that long? It's been a long time indeed. I guess we can't blame you for forgetting his face. Don't be silly. I didn't forget his face. His face merely changed. Oh, forgive my interruptions, your in interpretations, but... It would be... I'd be connected to assume that I'm speaking to the leaders of Ma Madra and Nafarin. You are correct, the mayor of Madra. And I am, I am. A lot of 
unsaffed and happy and kind face and whatever. I don't know what was going on there. I am the mayor of Far. I am Madge's town elder. And I am the chosen personnel friend of Shin, whose lover was injured by Chompas. I am the scholar Cardin. This is Felix and the gr leader of our group. The, you know, the leaders are always mutes. I'm Jenna, Felix's sister. I'm called Sheba. I come from the town of Liverto. Now, what urns has brought you all this way here? We came for Briggs, the mayor of magic claims. We follow Briggs here for Madra. Of course we have good reason to suspect them to be pirates. Because they are... Ahem, and I was honestly taken aback to hear the businessman being slandered. If they truly are pirates, then why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Because their very funds they used to purchase the ship was pillaged from our homes! If the ship was bought with the Madrian gold, then it belongs to Madrians. What do you say? If we give them the ship, we'll fix everything? No, it's a broken ass ship. Why would they want that shit? Then where will you go? I won't run and I won't hide, actually. I don't feel up for much of anything right now. Then you will probably won't mind being locked up, will you? Briggs. Don't worry, Shala. I'll be back. Take care of the clothes. A lot of nodding. So this, your strange power surprised me, but even without them, you would have overwhelmed us. Oh, thank you. How kind. I'll be taking that boat then. You're taking the, our ship. You're worse than we were. Aren't you at least going to pay us for the boat? Are you kidding? You stole their money and used their money to buy the ship. Quiet, all of you. Do as you must, but I have one request. You have to let Shala and e Elo s stay in the boat until it's repaired. You haven't done Afar any harm, Briggs. At least keep him locked up until the boat is repaired! That old man just wants to lock everyone up, like holy crap. And our prisoner Paris, is he one of your men? I don't know any Paris, sounds to me like you've made a pretty big mistake. See? It's just as I said, Paris is innocent! Um, so maybe he doesn't want to lock up everyone. You must return to Madra and free him immediately! Me? What? Alone? Only two of us will remain here, you can return to Madra with the others. Understood, we'll return immediately. Can you come with us, please? Well, they're actually pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Her <laughs> looks like that wraps the whole mess up. Let us return to my mansion for a nice cup of tea. Oh, you say your name was Cardin, or Cadrian, or whatever. I don't know. Ryan right Wilson. Thank you very much for helping with the Briggs. If you have time, please come see my mansion before you go. It's nothing special, but I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. Well, see ya. Why do I get the feeling that the mayor of a prime prefers me prefers to deal with my father over me? Thank you all of you very much. Do your f due to your efforts, Paris is going to be released. Maybe that was our plan all along. Maybe we just wanted Paris to join us, and we didn't care about the money's gold. And now this fine ship belongs to Madra. None of the none of this would have come to pass if it were not for you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have any reward I can offer you here. Oh, pish posh. We don't need any rewards, do we, Felix? Yeah, we do. Or, yeah, we don't need rewards. Hi, huh, your honesty is refreshing, Felix. So, what shall we do? Oh, I know. Come to Madra after the boat has been fixed. We'll sail home. We'll still recover from the efforts of the tidal wave, so it won't be much. But what uh, do you want? But do you want to give your you some kind of reward? Well, shall we be going? Sure. See ya. Oh, I see. So 
Oh, nothing, nothing, never mind. I do get get to stay on the boat, right? At least I won't, at least until it's repaired. Yes, that's where I'll go if you need me with that glow. Oh, I'll see you too. Bye, have good life. I kind of feel bad for Shua. What can we do about it? After all, she's one of the mar she's the one married to the pirates. So we should do. What should we do now? I suggest that we try to find Paris. He could provide intelligence. That's true. He seems to be a water adept. We might be able to tell a little bit about the lands. Do you think we should go help them fix the boat? Say, if we would help the boat, maybe you'll give us a ride back to Magic. Good idea. What do you say, Felix? Hell yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's go see what we can do to the sailing. This get this thing sailing again. Uh, let's get off for today's video. This is a very long video. Sorry about that. In the next episode of Golden Sun, The Lost Age, we'll go talk to the mayor and fix up the ship. In the next time, see you guys then. Bye.